Okay, so in this video, I am going to be showing you guys Apple Pie OS, but this time it's for PCs, computers. And I made this because I got lots of questions of people asking me to port over Apple Pie OS to computers, which was or it was originally for Pies, Raspberry Pi 4, but a lot of people want it for their PCs. And so this is 64-bit uh, Ubuntu, and it's based off Ubuntu Budgie again, but this time it's for your computer. So I'll go over the features and how it looks and all this stuff. But first of all, to download it, there's a ISO you're going to download. You just click, click the download button, and then you need to flash that to a USB device. Boot it, boot your computer from that USB dot de device, and then install it to your hard drive like that. So it's not that hard of a process. Yeah, and so that's how you can do that. So first of all, we have our Finder, our Files app here, and it looks like this. And then we have Lightpad. So on the Pi versions, I hadn't re re seen some app like this, but then I saw this app and it makes it a lot more Mac OS like. So I will be doing an update to the Raspberry Pi Apple Pi OS 2 for this, but for now it's only on the PC version. And so here you can see all of your apps. You can do this or you can search for it. Like I can search for apps and it will show up and come straight to me, which is really nice. So if you're having a hard time finding an app or anything, you press escape to go out, but if you're having any problem finding apps, just open up the light pad up here and go and look for the app. And another place, you can click on that button here and you can see all of your apps too and you can search for it. So there's two ways to find your apps, which is cool. And you guys can always edit the apps if you don't want to want these on your taskbar on the bottom. Just pull it off and it will go away. And to add another one, you just right click on the app and go keep in dock and will be in the dock for you. So we have a, like a photo viewer, this is a camera, this is a map, you can take a screenshot with that app, and you can do a calendar, calculator, LibreOffice, LibreOffice, and that's your terminal, you can listen to music, we have Firefox, and we have Chrome, I prefer Chrome, that's why I installed it. We have disks, we have document viewer, and software, settings and catfish file search and our trash so the software is fully functional and you can install apps so if I want Spotify I can just click install and when you do install this it will ask you to set a password and username so all of those things will be personal to you it's not like a password that I set As you see, it does install, and it is going to work. It, this is the Snap Store, but it just looks like the Apple Store. So I can just minimize that for now. And then we have our settings. And I did include a, a Mojave Dark Wallpaper too, so if you prefer that, you can always switch to that. And then you can... Wi-Fi does work, Bluetooth, applications, you can, there's all these settings in here that you can always change. Displays, you can do your resolution and do all that type of stuff, and you can change your username and all of your passwords, so it's, this operating system is fully functional, and yeah. And then up here, we have our places where you can, if you want to open up a file place quickly while you're on the web browser or something, it's just an example, you click on this and you can open up, you just hit downloads and it will automatically open up the downloads folder for you. And then this is your notifications. So if you get notifications, you can always click on here and see that an app list like, has your calendar and your music. So right here, Spotify, it's almost done installing, but when I'm playing music with Spotify, and if I want to stop it, I can just go.
go over to the applets here and I can stop it and pause it and do all of that stuff from right here and then this is Ethernet I'm using Ethernet this is sound, that's power off, and that's log out. As you probably see, I am running this in a virtual machine right now, but the only reason for that is for better recording. Even though this is a virtual machine, it's running perfectly, like full speed, but I have tested it on a PC and it does work. So these are the accessories we have. So plank is the bar at the bottom. And if you want to make this bigger or smaller, you can always edit that and change it by yourself. I don't know why it's not opening up. Oh, I opened up Plank instead of Plank Preferences. So if you go to Icon Size, right now I have it set to 40 because I think that looks pretty good. If you want it to be bigger, you can make it bigger. If you want it smaller, smaller. And like I've turned on this thing so when you go over the apps they get bigger, which I think looks pretty cool. So Spotify is done. Like I can launch it. So it is launching now. And you see it launched. And like I was saying, if you want to keep this on your taskbar, right click, keep in dock. Oh, it's already set for me. I can just close that up. And Spotify is still in my dock. So it looks pretty nice like that. And then we have internet. Transmission is a torrent app. So you can automatically download your torrents and stuff from there. Office, we have the office apps that you will need. Other iBus preferences. I'm not really sure what that is. It came with Ubuntu. We have sound and video, system tools, universal access, and utilities. So this is Apple Pie OS x86 version. I hope you guys like this operating system. If you have any feedback for me about this, tell me down below in the comments. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.